supreme confidence about himself. And everyone here in Orlando is very excited to see him get bumped up to co-main event. And justifiably so, he's earned it. Yeah, you know, Angela Bella just told me that his speed is going to help him get that victory. Here we go, Abello in the red trunks, and Jay Pinkham with the picture-perfect description <laughs> of Corey Marksman's trunks. Teal, lined in white and pink fur. And he told us he was going to come correct with his style tonight. He has done more than that. As two smooth, ready to go here against Angel Abello, 4-0. Looking to move on to 5-0, taking on Angel Abello, 4-11 as a professional. In our co-main event, look at Corey Marksman, so quick. Hey, no, no lack of, of, <laughs> of flashiness from Corey Marksman. I love it. <laughs> but like you mentioned before, if you try to get too flashy, that could lead to a mistake. So, Jay, if you're yes. Angel Abello, are, should you be more the aggressor or should you stay back and be patient? I mean, at this point in the game, you know you're up against a guy who's 4-0 and, and, has, and is just a damn good fighter. I mean, you can hang back, kind of see what his game plan is going to be, or you can just try to get him off that game plan by being aggressive. <laughs> And Eric, you see too smooth. He's just, not only is he in a tremendous physical condition, he is so compact. And he does a great job of defending the body. It's hard to get shots in on him. He's always in fantastic shape. Yeah, Jay and I kind of mentioned this in Daytona. And Jay, I, I wish I had a six-pack, man. <laughs> exactly. The kind of six-pack that I have is not that same kind. No. <laughs> but, I mean, that's not an off the bat on this kid. He's quick. His head movement, I always talk about Marksman's head movement being so crisp. Yep. It's just unbelievable for defense. He has found a way to put it all together so early in his career. His cardio is on point as well. And, and to be honest, he hasn't really been tested in his first four fights. And if you're Corey Marksman, right now he's looking a little bit patient, just waiting for his opening, which shows his progression as a fighter. Well, he's fought uh, Asmo Mayorga uh, in February of this year, and he's fought uh, Marcelo Williams in December of 21. Uh, Marcelo Williams is, is, a, is, a, is a tough journeyman. What, a, what would they consider a journeyman in boxing? He fights anyone and, and everybody. And we've seen Marcelo Williams win a, win a fight. We've called a win for Marcelo Williams. Yes. And earlier on, I was speaking with Corey Marksman, and he was saying that his last fight, the opponent got changed the day, two days before. He was scheduled to fight a 3 0 fighter. Oh. And credit to Abello, he is throwing haymakers at Corey Marksman. He is staying aggressive. Not a lot of them landing, but he's certainly not backing down. As now the official, you see Corey Marksman the tagging him with those left and rights. He can't take too many of those from Corey Marksman. Well, Abello's going to leave himself wide open if he continues to be aggressive. Marksman being very patient right here, but it's been a close fight thus far as we approach the final 40 seconds of the first round. An ally has been slain. It's smaller than the diagram. So now Marksman. It appeared he had a bellow there in the corner, but Bello great awareness now. The referee separates the final 20 seconds. First round here, co-main event, undisputed promotions, bragging rights. I want to thank our sponsors, Bud Light, Bet Online, for for the sponsorship. SSM Law Group, we've got RX Water, uh, Ocean Blue Real Estate, all of our great sponsors making this all possible tonight. And of course, coming up next, October 8th for Undisputed, but right now, we're about to move on to round two. Corey Marksman and Angel Abello. I gotta ask, 
Jay, who would you give that round to? I'm going to go ahead and give that, that round to Mark. has been more calm, more collected. Seemed to land a few more crisper shots than Albello. Um, right at the end, he tagged him with a nice left right as the bell was ringing. I would give this first round to Marksman. Are you impressed thus far with the aggression of Abello? I I'm impressed by the way he's taking Corey Marksman's shots. I'm in, I, I, I don't know if that's something that you should be, I, I should be flattered by, to, to, per se, but he's got a chin. He's displayed that, and that's the point that I'm trying to make. Do you feel, Jay, that Marksman is kind of just feeling out his opponent right now? He hasn't really gone in for the kill. Yeah, he really, I mean, Marksman's not a power puncher. He, can, he does have some power, but that's not his game. Um, he might be hanging back, trying to see what is going to do here. He's seen what is going to do here. Now let's see if he can capitalize. Marksman has shown to be the quicker of the two fighters, but once again, Abello, though. Albello's just a tough kid. Yeah, he really is. Marching forward, has a lot of grit, very fearless, as we're seeing. I mean, some of the shots that Corey Marksman has landed probably would have put out another fighter. But not Albello. Well, perhaps he was inspired by the performance of Julian Valerio, who withstood a number of punches in the previous fight. I can't believe how, how incredible that last fight was. It really was. And Travis Ingram with the knockout. Corey Two Smooth Marksman trying to follow suit with the same outcome here in the second round. Oh, now a nice combination here by Marksman in the corner. You see, he's tying up a lot here. Well, he's trying to keep his distance from Corey Marksman. Yeah. But like Jay just said, he's tying him up because he's getting tired. You know, this is where your cardio comes into play. And nobody's going to out cardio marksman. No, of course not. And the more fatigued Abello gets, the more difficult it's going it, to It's going to be overwhelming for him against someone as fast as Corey Marksman. Wow. Corey tags Abello again. Right to the body. And Abello has no choice but to tie up Marksman. Made Almost. a handful of decent shots there and had to tie him up to get the, to get the garage to stop. We're almost halfway into the second round here. Co-main event. And now Corey Marksman starting to tee off a little bit on Abello. You see Christopher Pizzucodias is in the house. Absolutely. I believe uh, Amanda Serrano is somewhere here tonight, I think. I'm going to go look for her. Oh. <laughs> Platinum Mike Perry. In the oh, total to action. Big action right in front of us. Shots to the body by Corey Marksman. Pinpoint precision, and once again, Abello has no choice. Now down to the final minute of round two. This round certainly more to the side of Marksman, and I believe Abello has now opened up. Well, he's, you see the blood trickling from his nose. You see Markman's warmed up. You see the perspiration in his body. He's throwing those combinations, yep. and down goes Abello. Big uppercut puts him down to a knee. What a shot. <laughs> that patience of a. a Marksman in the first round has now turned into aggression. Very patient, and that's what you see from a fighter who continues to have great camps and gets better and better each time out. But Abello not backing down. He's not going to go out that easily. Less than 30 seconds ago, can Marksman find a way to finish Abello? Oh, beautiful uppercut. He mixed in those uppercuts so smoothly. It's too smooth for a reason. Yeah, absolutely, Eric. Marksman now being exactly that. Surgical in his shots. Oh, man. He's like a surgeon in there. He's just precise. From Albello. Nice uppercut. Final four seconds. It looks like Abello is going to survive. For how long? We don't know. That was a dominant round. Yes, it was. Marksman. No doubt about it. Corey Marksman is slowly taking Abello apart. We might be seeing a, super, a budding superstar right in front of our eyes, Eric. Now, this will be the fourth fight of his that we've called. Johnny, this is the second fight of his that, that we've called with you. Yeah. And every single time, he gets better. Absolutely. Every single time, he gets smoother and crisper. And yes, we could no be question seeing about it. a future superstar on our hands here. And that's it. Oh, that's it. Now, that no, literally is it. Happened. He just quit. Oh, no. Did he just quit? Angela Bello doesn't want to continue, it appears. All right. I, it looks like Corey Markman's a little upset that he gave up. He doesn't even want to talk to him. Understandably so. 
But nonetheless, Jay just mentioned, it certainly was a dominant round for Marchman, and it just shows his progression as a fighter. Yes, every fighter wants to get a first round knockout, but the more intelligent fighter wants to guarantee himself a victory, and that's essentially what we saw from Too Smooth tonight. I'm sure Corey Marchman will eventually come and say something to Abello. You know, he, he, Corey Marchman is a great sportsmanship. Well, he wants to put on a show. He certainly did that. But he wanted to get the knockout. He wanted to get a highlight reel knockout. Understandable. And that did not happen for Marksman. But hey, a win is a win, as they say. Absolutely. 5-0 and is a professional. Absolutely. And to Abello's credit, he did put up a good fight. He was aggressive. He was throwing a lot of shots to Marksman. But the issue was Marksman's Mark quickness, his elusiveness. He just is very difficult to catch. Yes. Well, let's see what he has to say. Um, I have a feeling he's going to have a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> Rightfully so. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Corey Marksman can't get those gloves off fast enough so he can celebrate with his camp. He said following his last fight, all knocked down, whoever they line up for me, you know how I do. And that's exactly what he did tonight. Second round TKO with a victory.